How's it going, everybody? This is Afro DJ Mac with a very free Ableton Live pack. This one is called the Vinyl Snackler, and it's created by Animus Invidious, who spent the time to sample 128 different vinyl records. And you can switch between all these different sounds. It's the very beginning of an album when you first drop the needle before the music begins. And he's looped it to give you these all kinds of different vinyl sounds. You've got some very old records, some kind of clean ones. And you get to choose between all 128. There's a much dirtier one. Some of them have some really cool, like, scratch sounds, like this one. Now, you can add some tube crunch to give a little distortion. If you want your vinyl scratches even dirtier. You can also play... Right now, they're set up so that when you play them, they play it back at the pitch that they were recorded, no matter which key you hit. You can change this knob, force root, which will give you a pitched instrument, which starts to sound kind of cool when you get like a little bit higher and when you get a little bit lower. And this, now that's vinyl crackle pitched down quite a bit. Um, so I'm going to turn that back up so they all play back at the same pitch. We've got some reverb to give you a little ambience. Onset is sort of like an attack on a synthesizer, so it kind of fades in a little bit more when you crank it all the way up. Or you get the very beginning crunch when that needle first hits the record. You can kind of get rid of that by turning up the onset. Tail is, as you might suspect, it's like a release. So you crank that up and you can play a note, take your hands off the keyboard, and it still kind of fades out nice and slow. In case your vinyl crackle is not dirty enough, there's distortion. It's a fun little play on words. It's just some distortion that will make your vinyl crackle even louder and more vintagey and dirty. And there's also a volume control as the last macro. Um, I wanted to show you. I think what what I think is a cool way to work with this is to take this particular instrument, group it by hitting Command G. Now it's in an instrument rack. I'll open the chain up. I'll right click and create a new chain. And I'm going to go into my browser, and I'll just pick out uh, Operator, for instance. Nice, clean tone, and drop it on there. So now, whenever I play my Operator, I'm going to get Vinyl Crackle going on, too. So... Got some subtle crackle going on here. Let's just uh, pick a different sample. Maybe turn up the volume a little bit. So it sort of sounds like now my vinyl, I'm sorry, my operator is coming off of a vinyl record. Then you could do that with any sound. You could put this in a drum rack, for instance. Uh, maybe we'll just do that real quickly. We'll grab a drum kit. Uh, let's see, like my old 505 kit. Put that in place of the operator. And... Sounds like... My drum kit has a ton of vinyl on it, and here it is without it. Now if I just turn this back on, I get all kinds of vinyl, and I can again choose the sample that sounds best for me. Great, great device. Lots of variety. It's a nice way to add some vintage vibe and feel to your tracks. Thanks very much, much to Animus for giving this to us to share to you. It's a very cool thing. I plan on using it often in my own productions, and I hope you do. So download for free, and I hope you enjoy. Take care.